Hi, let's discuss more sort. I already discussed some sorting algorithm like selection sort, bubble sort, insertion sort, radix sort. Selection sort and bubble sort are brute force technique. Insertion sort is a decrease and concur. Next, more sort. This is a divide and concur algorithm. First, we'll divide, then we'll concur, then we'll combine. It work in three step. So, more sort algorithm follow a divide and concur paradigm. It operate as follow. Divide. Divide the n element sequence to be sorted into two subsequence of n by 2 element each. Suppose we have 10 element, it will divide into two subsequence of 5 element each. Next, concur. Sort the two subsequence recursively using more sort. We will sort each sequence by using the more sort. Next is combine. Merge the two sorted subsequence to produce the sorted answer. So first we will divide, then we will sort each subsequence, next we will combine the solution and we will get the solution for whole array or for whole n element. Let's discuss more sort algorithm. So it's sort array a 0 to n minus 1 by recursive more sort, input 1 array 0 to n minus 1 index, output the same array in increasing order. Some random order element will be given that will arrange in increasing order. So if n greater than 1, copy a 0 to n divide to minus 1 to b 0 to n divide to minus 1. Next copy n divide 2 to n minus 1 to c 0 to n divide to minus 1. Suppose this is a array having 10 element 0 to 9. We will create to another array. One is B, another is C. N is 10, so N divided to minus 1 is 5 minus 1, it is 4. 0 to 4 to B and 5 to 9 to C. Next, we will call this same algorithm recursively, means Morset B, 0 to N divided to minus 1. Morset C, 0 to N divided to minus 1. Means again, we will consider this as A, a and we will call Morset. So more sort this and again more sort this. So this two are recursive call to itself. After that we will call merge bca. This is another function. We are calling another function merge bca. So what will be running time? Let this as a t of n. This is t of n divide 2. This is also t of n divide 2. So recurrence relation will be t of n equals to 2 t n divide 2 plus c merge means for merging whatever time it will take. So here what is the key operation? The key operation is the combined step means the merging step. We can merge by calling this procedure merge bca. This procedure will merge and it merge them to form a single sorted array. It will merge to get the final solution. It will merge to get the single sorted array and it take theta of n time. So this C must take theta of n time. So what will be recurrence relation? 2 t n divide 2 plus n. If we will apply master theorem, running time will be theta of n log n. Let's discuss this algorithm merge BCA, important part of merge sort. Merge two sorted array into one sorted array, put our input b and c array and both are sorted and what will be output array a is the output let i 0 j 0 k 0 we are taking three variable and each are initialized as 0 while i less than p and j less than q do if b of i less than equals to c of j then a of k will be b of i, i value will increase, i value will be i plus 1. Else a of k will be c of j, j value will increase, it will be j plus 1. And k value will increase, k will be k plus 1. If i equals to p, copy whatever the c content, whatever the leftover c to a. Else copy whatever the b leftover to a. So this is all about Mohr's algorithm. Let's discuss with the example. This is a complete Mohr's algorithm. 
from this step to this step is merged from half to till end this is the merging so let's first do the merge sort algorithm with this example then we'll discuss the merging means this second algorithm so let's remember the previous algorithm it was merge sort if n greater than 1 what is n here there are 8 element so n equals to 8 obviously it is greater than 1 then copy a 0 to n divided to minus 1 this is our a we will copy 0 to n divided to minus 1 means 8 divided to minus 1 it is 3 so we will copy 0 to 3 index to b this is our bra and we will copy 4 to 7 to c this is our ra c again we will call mersort b 0 to n divided to minus 1 so we will call this we will call the function itself so now again it will consider this as a and here n is 4 n is 4 means this is greater than 1 so we will copy index 0 and 2 to b means we will copy first two element to another array and we will copy second two element to another array here also again we will call morset c 0 to n divided to minus 1 means we will consider this as a a and we will copy first two element to another array b and second two element to another array c next again morset b 0 to n divided to minus 1 means again we will call morset this so here how many elements are there two elements are there and the value is greater than 1 so i'll copy first element to another array and second element to another array here also two element will copy first element to one array second element to another array here also two element will copy to b and c 7 will go to b 1 will go to c here also two element 5 and 4 will copy 5 to one array 4 to another array now just check here again we'll call morset of this array so here how many elements are there there are just one element now just check if n greater than 1 each one is greater than 1 no so when there are one element we'll stop now merge set part is done next we'll do the merge means next we'll do this algorithm merge b c to a so from here to here till half we did the merge set part next we'll do the merging part here we divided Next, we will do the concave and we will do the combine. So, let me do this separately. We have one array P contain 8, another array C contain 3. Here I is 0, here J value is 0. What is P? P equals to 1, Q equals to 1. And we need to merge, we need to make another array A. And here index is K. So, I'll check if B of I less than equals to C of J is 8 less than 3. No. So, I'll do the else part. Else part means 3 is less than 8. Opposite of this means C of J is less than B of I. So, we'll copy C of J into A of K. This 3 will copy and J value will increase. Now, J value is 1 and k value will increase now k is here so again we'll check the while condition i less than p 0 less than p yes j less than q j is now 1 1 is not less than q so we'll exit from the while loop and we'll check this if condition if i equals to p 0 equals to 1 no so we'll do the else part else copy b content to a means we will copy this 8 to here so you can see here 3 and 8 like this we will compare 2 and 9 2 will copy then 9 will copy 7 and 1 1 is less so 1 will copy first then 7 will copy then 5 and 4 4 is less 4 will copy first then 5 will come let's do next level so let's b is 3 8 and c equals to 2 9 b is one array c is another array here i j 
B index are 0, 1, C index are 0, 1 will merge to another array. A index are 0, 1, 2, 3. And what is P? P equals to 2, Q equals to 2. So let's check the file condition i less than p, i is 0, 0 less than 2 and j, j 0, 0 less than 2. Then we'll check if b of i less than c of j is 3 less than 2, no. So we'll do the else part, we'll move this to here. c of j will move to a of k, we'll write 2 here. Then j value will increase, j will be j plus 1. And k value will increase, k will be k plus 1. Next, again we will check the file condition. i value is 0, 0 is less than 2. j value is 1, 1 is less than 2. Then we will check b of i less than c of j. Means is 3 less than 9? Yes. So b of i will move to f k. Means this 3 will move here. Then i value will increase, i will move here, i will be i plus 1, previously it was 0, now it will be 1 and k value will increase now, k is 2. Next again we will check the file condition, i value is 1, 1 less than 2, j value is 1, 1 less than 2. We will check b of i less than equals to c of j, b of i is 8, is 8 less than 9, yes. So, we'll move b of i to a of k means this 8 will come here. Now, i value will increase. Now, i is 2 and k value will increase. k will be 3. Next, we'll check the while condition while i less than p. i value is 2 and 2 is not less than 2. So, condition fail 2 is not less than 2. We'll exit from the while loop. We'll check the if condition. If i equals to p, i equals to 2, 2 equals to 2. So, I will copy c content to a, means we will copy this 9 to here. Now, merging is done. You can mark here is 2, 3, 8, 9. Like this, we will also merge these two. We will compare 1 with 4. 1 is less, so 1 will move. Then, we will compare 7 with 4. 4 is less, so 4 will copy. Then we will compare 7 with 5, 5 is less, so 5 will copy, then 7 will move here. Next level, there are 2 RA, 1 RA content 2, 3, 8, 9, let this as B. Another RA contain 1, 4, 5, 7. Now what is P? P equals to 4, Q equals to 4. So, i equals to 0 less than 4, j equals to 0 less than 4. Next, we will check the if condition, b of i less than equals to c of j. b of i is 2, c of j is 1. So, is 2 less than 1? No. We will do the else part. We will move this c of i to k. We will write 1 here. Next, j value will increase, j will move here and k value will increase, now k is here. Next again we will check the file condition, i value is 0, 0 less than 4, j value is 1, 1 less than 4. So we will compare, is 2 less than 4? Yes. So we will move b of i to a of k, so 2 will come here and i value will increase, i will be i plus 1, this will be our new i and k value will increase. Next again we will check the while loop i value is 1, 1 less than 4, j value is 1, 1 less than 4. b of i that is 3 and c of j is 4. So is 3 less than 4? Yes. So we'll move b of i to a of k means this 3 will come here. Now i value will increase, i value will be 2 and k value will increase. Now i value is 2 which is less than 4, j value is 1 which is less than 4. We will check is 8 less than 4? No. So, we will do the else part. We will move c of j to a of k. So, 4 will come here. And j value will increase. Now, new j is this and k value will increase. Next, i value is 2 which is less than 4. j value is 2 which is less than 4. So, we will compare is 8 less than 5? No. So, c of j means c of 2. 5 will move to a of k. 
and J value will increase and K value will increase. Next I value is 2 which is less than 4, J value is 3 which is less than 4. We will compare each 8 less than 7, no. So we will do the else part, C of J will move to A of K, 7 will come here and J value will increase. Now J value will be 4 and K value will increase. Next again we will check the while loop. I value is 2 which is less than 4. J value, J value is 4 which is not less than Q. So we will exit from the while loop. We will check the if condition if I equals to P. I equals to 2 which is not equals to P. So we will check the else condition means whatever the B content. B content left is 8, 9 that will copy to A. So this 8, 9 will come here. Now you can check we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. So this is all about merge sort. First we are dividing, then we are combining. While combining, we are also doing the sorting part. This is all about dividing, this is all about the combining. Combining that we do in merge phase. While we merge at the same time, we are also doing the sorting. In next lecture, I will discuss its running time and two-way merging or bottom-up merging. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.